Welcome back, this is Tradius with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. It's the second episode and the first week in the regular season in this Miami Dolphins franchise series. Super happy that you're tuning in again. Uh, let's take a quick look at our schedule for this year. We're going to be starting out against the Patriots with a home game, then an away game against the Ravens, a home game against the Bills, away game against the Bengals, away against the Jets, home Vikings, home Steelers, then away against the Lions and the Bears, a home game against the Browns by week. Then we've got the Texans at home and then three away games against the 49ers, Chargers and Bills. Finally, Packers at home, Patriots away and Jets at home. So quite a tough division that we're in. Um, we do have tough opponents in there. This is also a reason why I chose the Dolphins. It's another division um, and, and uh, another uh, um, uh, conference in comparison to the Rams. So that is something that I was looking for to sort of mix it up a little bit here. Um, we will now be uh, taking a look at uh, our season goal. We will be choosing a draft class. We will be opening uh, day keys will be the uh, press conference. Uh, we will be taking a look at the scouts, at the weekly strategy, of course, at our opponent, the New England Patriots. So quite a lot of things to take care of. So let's start straight away. The season goal is going to be quite easy, I think. Uh, we want to have seven wins. I think this isn't uh, is not realistic. This should really be doable. 15 staff points. Chance of firing is going to be medium. So there you go. Um, team isn't quite ready to compete for a playoff spot and I and I'm sure that this is very realistic um, reaching the playoffs um, is is actually a bit unrealistic I think because we just have such a tough competition such a tough game plan and I'd rather overachieve but I think seven wins is what we should go for this year especially looking at our team and where we stand at the moment we are going to choose a draft class next there we go these are the prospects for the next year this is the draft class of course the real 2023 draft class i loaded in a user file and i don't think that there is any uh, surprises in here at the moment it doesn't look like it um it is the full seven rounds everybody's in there starting with cj stroud Bryce Young, and all the other names that we know but also the uh, lower ranked players potential udfas like bonix who we used as a backup QB in the uh, LA Rams rebuild. Um, we've also got Taulia Tagovailoa, who would be super fun to have. Actually, I'm going to use him as a as a um, as a favorite straight away. Uh, this is just super fun. Uh, he's the brother of uh, Tua, of course. Uh, in case you didn't uh, already piece that together, um, there's another um, another brother in there. Um, and I think it's it is uh, the brother of uh, Sewell, which means it's gonna be where is he? It's gonna be Noah Sewell, or is he in the 2024 draft? Not quite sure. There he is now. No, Noah Sewell. There we go. Left outside linebacker. Actually, position that we do need. So let's just save it straight away. And uh, yeah, you can see on the on the left hand side the teams that we know where we need um, to improve. Um, we've got the regions there. There are quite a few changes in uh, the uh, drafting and how that works. Um, uh, we know which players we need. We know which positions we need. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that for the moment. Um, I do think that we need to keep moving this along uh, over time. We have the scouts um, that we can uh, use to uh, sort of scout certain positions. Um, that is unchanged. Um, nothing new has been done here. And uh, for instance, we've got uh, this scout. Uh, I will be putting him on the national. He's already set there. Um, so basically all the players start out at being assigned anyways. We've got uh, him assigned to the southeast, uh, the northeast, west and central. Um, so there we go. It is, it is similar that we have... Um, those uh, those scouts that have specific uh, knowledge about players um, and, and special player positions that they 
are just very good at um, but uh, it, it, it's not as strict anymore. It's not left outside or right outside linebacker. It is outside linebacker and it's not strong safety or free safety. It is safety, for instance. So that's a change right there. I'm going to leave it at that. Don't think that we need to tinker with this too much. If you know how the scouting system works and if you know how the drafting system works, then that will make sense for you anyways. Okay, so we have selected a draft class. This is great. Next up, we're going to be talking to the media about the opening day. It's opening day this week and a fresh start for every team around the league. And you'll be facing the Patriots. What's the key to victory? Well, <laughs> I think we will have to dominate offense because that's about all we can do. Ideally, we establish a rhythm on offense, dictate the flow of the game, and get a big enough lead to make their offense one-dimensional. All right. Obviously, every offense wants to be balanced. What's your main focus? I think we're going to go for the passing game because our running game isn't as strong at the moment, but we have two fantastic wide receivers. It's a passing league. Whether you're leading or trailing, passing is the best option for yards and points, so being able to air it out is how we envision having the most success. Beat the Patriots, throw for 350 plus yards. Yosh, that is gonna be tough. Game planning tip, okay, thank you. Much appreciated. Okay, next up, we will take a look at the roster. The New England Patriots roster um, features interesting players. <laughs> Mac Jones is their franchise QB. He's got a start of trade, 23 years old. He did so well last season. And yeah, just a great player, a very tough quarterback. We're gonna have to watch out for him, especially uh, on, on the accuracy. Uh, everything's quite balanced. Bailey Zapp is a rookie from the 2022 draft. Brian Hoyer is also in there, sort of a mentor situation going on there. And halfback, we've got Damian Harris, 82 overall, 25 years old, start of trade. And uh, yeah, just looking at him, number 22 ranked halfback in the league. He just looks quite solid. Spin move might be a weakness. Everything else looking very solid. Ramondre Stevenson, 24 years old, 73 overall. Pierre Strong Jr., also a rookie. And Kevin Harris, also a rookie. So two halfbacks and uh, Ramondre Stevenson. I'd say uh, the running situation isn't, uh, isn't absolutely elite. Um, They've got a very solid halfback right there, a decent halfback right there, and then two developmental halfbacks. Fullback is Mason Stockey, a wide receiver. Nelson Aguilar is the starting wide receiver. Devante Parker is the second wide receiver. So both of these, I would say, solid wide receivers, nothing elite. Kendrick Bourne is injured, so no worries there. Jacoby Myers, 25 years old, 80 overall. Nikhil Harry and Tyquan Thornton, who we know so well from our uh, LA Rams rebuild. He was such a fantastic player, the Baylor product, and his speed was absolutely out of this world. We upgraded him to superstar and he did so well, played so well in the Super Bowl. So such an important player for us. Uh, apart from that, uh, this is a mm, mixed bag wide receiver room. I would say one and two are solid, uh, three is injured. Um, then uh, this uh, this wide receiver here, he is looking good. He he does seem to have quite high acceleration with a start. They have create in there, catch and catch and traffic agility. So the passing play will be some something to to look out for, despite them not having a truly elite wide receiver. But it's very balanced overall. Yeah, it's something I would say. Tight end Hunter Henry, then John o. Smith, then Dalton Keene. Um, yeah. Hunter Henry, very, very good wide receiver, uh, tight end. Um, and uh, he's obviously tight end number one. Behind him, we've got Tony Smith. And these two are very, very solid. Hunter Henry, very good, very solid. And Dalton Keeney yeah, is just the backup there. Again, quite balanced. At left tackle, Isaiah Wynn and Justin Heron, who are the left tackle players. Uh, we've got Isaiah Wynn, who is a start F trade and looks to be a very, very solid left tackle. At uh, left guard, we've got Mike Onwenu and William Sherman. 
Mike Onwenu, 24 years old, 80 overall, star dev trait. This is a very strong future offensive line, maybe not at the moment as much, but uh, in the future. David Andrews at center, 30 years old, James Ferenc, there we go. But uh, David Andrews, 86 overall, that is a super solid center to have. It's gonna secure the area for Mac Jones. Right guard is Cole Strange. He was picked in the first round by uh, Bill Belichick in the 2022 draft. That was a super, super surprising thing to do. Um, and yeah, well, Bill knows best, maybe, but he's got a normal depth rate, 71 rated, 24 years old. I don't really see this happening, but okay. Jason Hines, also a rookie behind him at right guard. Right tackle, we've got Trent Brown, 86 overall, 29 years old, and Andrew Stuber, also a rookie. Uh, so the tackle positions are quite well set, I would say. Uh, the guards and the center. The guards not so much, but the center, uh, again, quite solid in David Andrews. Defense, Dietrich Wise Jr., 28 years old, 78 overall. Sam Roberts, another rookie without a face, sadly. So Dietrich Wise Jr., I would say he's a solid choice at left edge. Nothing insane. Finesse moves, speed, agility lacking but uh, strength is high tackle is high so we'll have to be wary of that of course right edge lawrence guy 32 years old 76 byron coward is uh, the backup here with a 76 overall uh 32 years old player i don't think that this is too crazy definitely a position that needs a rebuild but uh, for the moment um we're, we're going to be satisfied with that christian barmore uh, Devongo Cho and Carl Davis, who is injured, uh, but Christian Barmore is a very, very good D-tackle, 77 overall, 23 years old, and this will be challenging. Uh, we can, we can, we, we can determine that right now. Left outside linebacker Matthew Juden, 87 overall, 30 years old, superstar death trait, and uh, yeah so he's going to be coming for us he is the first player on defense who i would really rank as elite um up to now nobody really dangerous ronnie perkins the backup here mid linebacker jawan bentley 80 overall 26 years old jelani tavai 71 rated 25 years old and mac wilson senior 70 overall 24 years old so Midline backer, I would say Jawan Bentley is solid and uh, Jelani Tevai decent. Despite the overall, he's actually a rather disgusting midline backer to have coming for you due to the high acceleration and the hit power and the strength and the speed and so on. But uh, 71, yeah, not that crazy high. Right outside linebacker, Josh Ushi, uh, Anthony Jennings, Cameron McGrone. Uh, very balanced but weird. I don't know. I, I don't. Th I, don't I don't think that this is. Uh, this is too tough to handle. High speed acceleration, really quick player, but uh, tackle hit per pursuit, not as amazing. Uh, to be honest, cornerback Jonathan Jones and Malcolm Butler, both of these I would say are solid choices. And then Marcus Jones, a rookie. Jack Jones, a rookie, and Sean Wade. Yeah, just backups. Nothing more than that quick marcus jones super quick but yeah not really convincing but jonathan jones and malcolm butler uh will be tough to handle what about jonathan jones let's take a quick look here start after trade 82 overall high speed high acceleration high agility jumping yeah we will have to be aware of that free safety devin mccordy definitely the star of the defense here another elite player free safety super experienced speed zone coverage player recognition acceleration and awareness definitely tough and to brill peppers also here 26 years old 81 overall so two very strong free safeties what about the strong safeties adrian phillips and kyle duggar yeah these are solid super solid choices so the pass plays will be difficult um nick folk is the kicker 37 years old and the punter is jake bailey 25 years old, 79 overall. How do we approach that? Let's head into weekly strategy and uh, translate that. Uh, the defensive game plan. What is the suggestion? This is the defend the outside run. 
I do think that that is maybe a good option. Despite uh, the deep passing maybe being more dangerous. Short passing, let's go for the short pass. Maybe we can limit them a little bit here. We're gonna go with the full pass. We are going to split this, of course. Uh, try and get as much experience um, out of everybody here. What's the offensive game plan gonna be? Run outside. Yeah, I don't know. I think we, we need the pass in place, right? So we're gonna throw it short and we are gonna do the same thing, full pass, but we're gonna split here as much as we can. There we go. And next up, we've got the team profile, the weekly game plan goals. What do we do? Uh, two plus passing touchdowns. Do you think we should go for that? Allow 24 points or less. That's not a lot of choices here for the defensive coordinator. Um, 24 points or less. Yeah, let's go with that. What about the offensive coordinator? Oh, so they did trim this down a little bit. I do think we need 400 plus offensive yards. Not sure if we're gonna get that. So let's go with the 350. And the head coach is we will be going for um, no sacks allowed. Win by 70 plus points. Oh, all of these are just so just super super uh, optimistic. I honestly don't see us pulling that off, but let's see what we can do. Defensive training has completed and taking a look at the results. I can see focus XP, drill XP, a broken finger for who's that a backup, backup cornerback. Okay, that is who <laughs> thought that was a more important player. What about here? No, nothing happening here. So that is that taken care of. We will be upgrading players now. Jalen Waddle gets an upgrade. That is great. We're going to put that into Playmaker. There we go. Deep route, medium route, short route. Get upgrades. Kian Grossen gets great points. Going to put that into slot. Do want to make him uh, scheme fit quite quickly. Preston Williams, wide receiver. Now let's go with a Playmaker. That sure is he's weird looking. Super loose fit. And Mike Kosicki will also get an upgrade. I'm gonna put that into possession, I think. Catch and traffic could use an upgrade. Break tackle, catch and traffic, medium route, run block power and short route. Okay, there we go. Quick check, looking at our squad heading into the first game this season. We can immediately see that we have issues uh, at quite a few positions and uh, I do think that we will be utilizing Austin Jackson at left tackle. We'll be using Robert Hunt left guard, Connor Williams center, Solomon Kindley at right guard, and Tron Armstead at right tackle ahead of Liam Eikenberg. So we're absolutely mixing and matching back and forth here. Um, hardly using anybody <laughs> along their uh, traditional position. Mike Kosicki, uh, Smythe and Hunter Long. I do think I wanna use Hunter Long ahead of Smite there, just due, due to the age situation. Um, who else do we have here? Chase Edmonds, uh, Sony Michelle, Miles Gaskin. I want to use Mike Gaskin, uh, a little bit higher ranked. Um, Chase Edmonds, I do think that we have, yeah, I'll, I'll keep Sony Michelle down here because he's my power halfback. Um, what about defense? At defense, we are looking at, uh, yeah, this is a strange situation at D-Tackle 2. Why am I using Jones? Because I don't have anybody better there. Well, that makes sense. Zach Sailor, do we use him ahead of Benito Jones? I mean... Can I not put him into the practice squad? I don't think that I should keep him around because I don't think that he will be helping me much. Um, what do we? What can we do? I could use Okba here, um, but then we will have a problem 
No, we could use... All right, I think I need to head into the depth chart and just mix and match a little bit. I mean, we do have Jalen Phillips right there. We've got Andy Van Ginkel. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna start as it is now, but I will be putting Zach Sealer at uh, D tackle number two here. I mean, this is it's 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 a terrible situation. Seventy one, seventy five. Don't ask me how they got to these overalls. I think it's Zayvon Howard that's pushing it, and Javon Holland, uh, maybe Melvin Ingram as well. But this is uh, yeah. This is not beautiful. Special teams are set. What about specialists? All right, we've set those as well. And the practice squad is ready and running. Uh, here we are, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. It's gonna be a rain game, the opener. New England Patriots versus the Miami Dolphins. Mac Jones here. <laughs> That's a very cinematic opener. This is, of course, a new cinematic to a tag of Aloha here. Really, really liking this a lot. Beautiful. You can use that perfectly for thumbnails. And now, going to be opening the regular season in a home game against the New England Patriots coming out onto the field at the moment. And here come the Miami Dolphins. Oh, you can see the water on the pitch. And we will be starting straight away into the game. All right, there we go. Four minutes 32 in the first quarter. We're going to go for a mesh spot here. Of course, utilizing the new uh, passing uh, methodology where you have to sort of uh, adjust the play. We've got Wilson, we've got Gesicki. Let's see who we can get free here. And good catch here by Gesicki. How far can we go with our big tight end? It's going to be the 12 on the first run here. I really like those uh, plays. Ooh, that was a close one, actually. Number 36. Luckily, it was Gesicki there. I think maybe another player would have been worse off, maybe. And uh, we're going to go with the Pistol Mesh. Cedric Wilson or Mike Kisicki. Waddle's also an option. Oh, smacked away here. Good accuracy with the bullet pass. Would have been nice. Would have been the first touchdown here in the home stadium for Tua Tagovailoa. Going to go with a wide drag here. Edmonds on a route. Kisicki also an option. Rather looking for Gesicki, to be honest. And there we go. Ooh, stopped at the one-yard line. First and goal as we moved the chains. And that was a nice throw here by Tua Tagovailoa, connecting with Mike Gesicki, who's only stopped by the Patriots' defense at the one-yard line. And we are going to go with a mountain zone. Sony Michel, left hand side run here. Uh, like Ingold also in the mix. And uh, 3, 2, 1. Can we get into the end zone for the first touchdown? Oh, we are stopped at the one yard line. Let's try a halfback lead here. We want to push it in, we want to shove it in. We're the home team. And I think we're still not in. Wow. Do we go with a pass play? Do we try an outside run? Let's try an inside zone here. It is one yard. Chase Edmonds going to be uh, my runner here. Left hand side run. And this time we are in the first touchdown in the regular season chase Edmonds wow what a nice graphic right there good run left hand side here and everything was open hunt Connor Williams Teron Armstead everybody working overtime here 
and we're in. Some nice music playing in the background, and with that, we're gonna hand it over to defense. And defense manages to hold the Patriots. That is fantastic. Slippery one way players change direction slightly slower than now. Normal home team fatigue slower. Yeah, that's gonna be tough. Mike Kosicki or Jalen Waddle. Can we get it to Jalen Waddle? Or can we get going here with two attacker by Loa? Yes, we can. Stepping out of bounds at the one yard line. And it just feels good saying his name again. Happy about this reunion here. So there we go. What are we going to do next? I really like those short ones. Tight end angle, maybe level sail or a play action spider mesh. Let's go with the spider mesh. Right, Tyreek Hill. Or Jalen Waddle. Maybe we can get Tyreek Hill his first reception. Oh. Almost picked off here by, by the defense. We're going to go for a left side run here. Chase Edmonds left hand side of course. 1 minute 13 in the first quarter. On this very very rainy day. Oof. Stopped here by number 32. Only three yards the pickup. I'm not that confident yet in Tua, to be honest. <laughs> Bit of a bird child right there. We've got Hill, we've got Kisiki. So who do we go for? And that was perfect accuracy. And that was a terrible, terrible pick. Butler picks it off. Malcolm Butler with the touchdown, a pick six, that was unnecessary, but uh, knowing me you know that it doesn't take long for me to produce those. To be honest the new passing system, I'm gonna try it um, because I do think that it's cool when they improve things but uh, it is uh, certainly adding a little bit more of a challenge on those pass plays. Tyree Kill, maybe Cedric Wilson. Can we get them? Alright, that was absolutely inaccurate. And the quarter ends right here. Score is even. Let's go with the dagger. Kaziki or Wilson. There we go. There we go. Kaziki pushing forward. We do get the first down. And that pass was actually very good. Definitely takes some getting used to here. And uh, do we go for a play action cross country? I'm just so. <laughs> I just. I don't want to risk any more handovers i'm absolutely dreading those no pun intended there we go jalen waddle looking for him on the short route all right yeah difficult very difficult at the moment getting used to the new controls and also sort of <laughs> getting getting progression done here. We're gonna go the halfback stretch, left hand side run. Nothing happened yet. But again, we really handed them a way back. Shoved out of bounds here, number 21. Coming across Chase Edmonds. Pushed out here. Left hand side. Run was quite open right there. Let's go with a level sail here. We've got Hill on the choice route, but also Edmonds, maybe Kasiki. Sometimes that really works quite well. There's a flag on the play. 
All right, unnecessary roughness. There we go, Jonathan Jones. Of course, we're going to accept that. We're going to go for a power roll here. We are 11 yards away, and we have first and 10. That is a major, major chance if we could try and get going. All right, only one yard on the pickup. Wide receiver power fake jet. All right, let's try this. We're going to have Cedric Wilson going towards the left-hand side here. Kicking it off. And the ball is underway. And it's going to be Tyreek Hill with his first touchdown for the Miami Dolphins here in the home stadium. And that was actually pretty nice. One receiver going right to the other going left. That was nice really like that play and uh, the Patriots on the board here 1 minute 20 to be played we still seem to have all of our uh, timeouts as do the Patriots it's gonna be Jalen Waddle here going left hand side there we go Oof. but take him back here by number eight seem to be way stronger Vertical's white rag. Access coach stick by bring up coach cam with L2 moving with RS. Yeah, I know that. So thanks for the information. Gonna be looking for Gesicki. Maybe Hill. Do we get Hill free? Yes, we do. All right, and we're away with our superstar X Factor wide receiver. We joined the Dolphins from the Kansas City Chiefs. Actually, a bit of a weird switch, if you ask me. Moving away from one of the best quarterbacks in the league. But what do I know? That worked well. That worked quite well. And here we are. We're at 35 seconds still to go. Let's go with a clear out. Not a clear route, but a clear out. And Jalen Waddle is the player I'm looking for. Maybe Kaziki. So there we go. Oh dear. Oh my god. Yeah. That was a sack. Tried to get the ball away, but number nine was on me in a flash and wise as well. Two and twenty-four. Yeah. I think this is uh this this calls for a special teams. I'm gonna go for a field goal. And we're gonna call a timeout because otherwise clock will run down and I will be unhappy. So let's see what Jason Sanders can do in this rainy, rainy, rainy arena here. Also seems to be quite windy. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no, it's going to be going to decide. Did he just catch that? Okay. Let's just stop the guy. All right. Zero seconds left. So we're going to be heading into the second half. And they're 10 points away. And that was not necessary, but uh, I think it's a fair, fair reflection of our current situation, to be honest. Uh, let's get going with uh, Wilson here. Well caught, actually. But uh, couldn't really get away from the defender. To a tag of Aloha, finding... Finding his target there, but stopped quite quickly. So what do we do next? Let us go with the southeast corner here. Tyreek Hill, gonna go to the left outside here. Edmonds is also an option, but uh, we'll just have to see how quickly we can develop this pass. And here, Tyreek Hill, can we get through? No, we cannot, but we get a first down at the 33. Little dance here by Tyreek Hill as he goes outside and goes for an aggressive catch, jumping, getting the ball, then staying inbounds, and that was that was actually pretty impressive. All right, let's. Previous play is under review. Uh, previous play is under review. Don't know what they do under review here because I think everything was fine. 
Hill caught the ball, but the question is, did he step out of bounds? All right, everything seems to be fine. Or were we pushed back a little bit? Yeah, I seem to be stepping out of bounds. So, do we want to check that? All right, thank you. Uh, there we go. Caught, and I think this is what they're calling, right? And did he step out of bounds? Right foot. Yeah, maybe. All right, we're gonna keep that. Uh, Wilson or Gesicki are the two players I'm looking for. Underthrown here, goes out of bounds. Second and inches, of course. We're in the third quarter, and we still have quite some way to go. So let's not waste any time. Let's go with the halfback stretcher. Sony Michel, left hand side run. It's only inches that we need. And the stout halfback here going for a user truck that shoved out of bounds, stopping the clock at 2 minutes 54. Let's go with a mesh spot here. Cedric Wilson and Mike Gesicki again. Jalen Waddle maybe in the end zone. Let's keep an eye on uh, Wilson and Waddle. I would like to get. Yeah, I was under pressure, but would have worked maybe. We're at mesh spot now. Again, Kisiki Wilson. I'm looking for those short, short options. I just don't see uh, see us really um, getting forward too much, uh, too quickly at the moment. I'm a little bit fearful of what Tua is producing. Don't really trust him enough to make these long, long throws yet. Of course, we want to develop him there. And here we go, straight up the middle, Chase Edmonds. Stepping forward, 12 yards out. Let us go with a wide drag here. At the 12 yard line, Gizicki, my best, most appreciated option, of course. But smacked away, despite having perfect accuracy. Just took a little bit too long to develop, was my feeling. Do we go for a spider mesh? Do we go for a Y stick? Let's go for a Y stick. Tyreek Hill, Smythe, Kasiki. I'd love to get Hill. Alright, shove that bouncer at the three. It's going to be third and inches. And we're going to go for a fullback dive here with Alec Ingold, who's going to be trying to smash the ball into the end zone now. It is only inches, and there we go. All right, we get a first goal, two yards to cross. And our running core, not really convincing, to be honest, but uh, not terrible either. What I'm asking myself is where is... Where is Raheem Mostert? Is he injured? Why is he not my starter? I put him there actually. Not remembering my depth chart movements here. Oh, come on, man. Still at the two. Clock running down, second and goal. And now Raheem Mostert gonna go with him can we get that away no we cannot taking too long to set up here the third quarter comes to an end and uh, we have we don't have enough yards yet we need more pass yards so what do we do I think the short route still is something that we need to focus on and the short pass as well I think I'm gonna go for a halfback wham left hand side run here in rainy Miami. Jesus Christ, it's really coming down. And uh, Raheem Mostert 
Let's push through. Oh, not even getting going here. That sucks. Third and goal. And we can't cross two yards. So Kisiki is gonna gonna be who I'm gonna be looking for. And Kisiki gets inside. All right, that's good. That is the second touchdown. That's another one that we needed. Here we go. Ball caught. And inside. I think that's Elvis in the background. Ah, that's beautiful. Defense, let's hold them. And we cannot. Six points is the difference here. Gonna go for the four verticals. We need to cover some ground here. Mike Kosicki. Gonna be looking for him. And uh, off we go. All right, let's just throw away. Not really much more to be done here. We're going to go for another vertical here. Tyreek Hill on the run towards the right-hand side. And off we go. Great catch. Ah, oh. Sadly taken down. 1 minute 34. We can get going and we can win this game if we can get a touchdown. We've got 1 minute 10 to go. So Tyreek Hill, one more of those and we're in the end zone. If we get the field goal, then we're safe. Ah, oh, get it away. Oh, man. Not getting it away quickly enough. And number 9, Juden was on us. Too quickly. Just too quickly. So I'm going to go with the verticals white rack here. We've got 33 seconds. I need a player to go out of bounds now. Otherwise. Oh my god. And another sack here. Number 55. There was no coverage. There was no coverage there. And that is it. That is too much time taken. Didn't work out. Mistakes were made. There we go. First game, first home game against the New England Patriots. And that is a loss. 27-21. It was within our reach, to be honest. Was mistakes made. An interception. That hurt. Now, taking a look at the player stats. Um, of course, to a 60% completion rate. One touchdown pass. Uh, 12 completions, 20 attempts, 240 yards on the rushing side. Couldn't really get going. Chase Edmonds to uh, Tariq Hill, Sony Michel. Quite a few players rushing here, actually. On the receiving end, it was Tariq Hill and Mike Isicki. Really did very well. Uh, Jacoby Myers, Hunter Henry, Nelson Aguilar, Akil Harry, Devontae Parker. On the blocking side, definitely, definitely to be improved. Austin Jackson, Teron Armstead allowed sacks on defense. Byron Jones, Emmanuel Ogba, Nick Needham did very well. Tackles for a loss, only New England. Sacks, same thing. Javon Holland not getting one. Interceptions, it was Malcolm Butler, Devin McCourty. Javon Holland did get one, but... Uh, yeah, not great. Tyreek Hill, wide receiver. We should have gotten the win this week, and that falls on us. I let the guys know that we have have to better, have to better, and that winning is the only option. It's only one game. We still have plenty of time to figure things out and get on the right track. Yeah, I agree, but then again, yeah. <laughs> This is going to be challenging, of course. Uh, we know that uh, we knew what we had to expect looking at the team. Um, and uh, to be honest, I wasn't disappointed. Um, anybody expecting us to really just uh, smash, smash the division, smash uh, uh, our, our league. Yeah, living in cuckoo land to uh, quote uh, Roy Keane. An Irish uh, soccer player who I like very much. 
but yeah, this is uh, this is where we stand right now. Uh, we've got a wobbly offensive line with one star player who is aging. Uh, we've got a good tight end that is good. We've got good wide receivers. Um, we can we can safely say that. Uh, we've got maybe not the greatest running core. Solid, I would say maybe we've got a developmental um, quarterback in Tua Tagovailoa. Uh, we've got a good fullback. The defense is a mixed bag as well. We've got an absolute terrible D tackle, and uh, yeah. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be saving my changes that I'm making here uh, in regards to the um, to the depth chart. I'm going to be keeping that uh, in my focus uh, because that would be annoying. This is sort of still the first version of Madden 23. I do hope that any patches that they do bring out will not break everything and sort of maybe restart this franchise. But for the moment, this is it. I'm going to cut the episode here. We started into the season 0 and 1 at the moment. Uh, we lost against the New England Patriots 27 21. Uh, not without our own uh, doing, I would say. Um, but uh, yeah, not much more to add uh, to that. We will now <laughs> cut the episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>